Hey everyone, welcome to day 11 and sadly our final day of our California vegan travel vlog. This was a great way to finish up the trip. We had some really delicious and very interesting food on this day. We also checked out some beautiful places. Torrey Pines, one of my favorite places I've ever seen. We also checked out La Jolla Cove and we got to hang out with my brother some more. So it was a really great day. We're gonna kick things off with breakfast at the Mad Beat. Jamie and I each got a bowl, minus the honey, and they were both really good. Nothing amazing, not quite as good as the bowl we had the day before, but definitely good. I wish they came in a little bit wider containers because it was kind of a pain in the ass to eat them out of these things, but a uh, cool place. Maybe a little bit too bro for Jamie and I. Uh, the guy working the counter had a long live Paul Walker shirt. That kind of tells you all you need to know about the place. But either way, cool place, got some good food, and we're on our way to Torrey Pines. So starting off, wow, what a view driving down this road to Torrey Pines. I had no idea what I was in for with this. This was so cool, just coming down this hill and all of a sudden popped up. The ocean was right there, these beautiful cliffs. I love this spot. Probably one of my top views I've ever seen. Jamie and I were both really blown away by the Torrey Pines Nature Reserve. You know, I'd heard really good things and the actual scenery and like the trees and everything aren't that beautiful compared to a lot of places we've been, but kind of the totality of everything that you get to see along the cliffs, it's really, really beautiful and really impressive. We hiked around here for about three or four hours and I felt like there was just a ton more we could have seen. But every single time we went out towards the water, you would just get a different, really unique and interesting view with a really great variety of rock formations and flowers. It was just a beautiful place. I would definitely go back and I would highly recommend you check it out if you visit San Diego.
Oh man, you cannot believe how good this place is. Trilogy Sanctuary is also like a yoga studio on a rooftop. And man, the food was freaking incredible. One of the best meals we had on the whole trip. I actually wasn't expecting it to be anything other than like good. I thought it would be like healthy food that was done right, but it was way better than that. We actually got a little muffin to go on the airplane and it was a badass muffin. But let's get to the crazy good stuff. We started off with these nachos. Man, these things were nuts. They had like this cashew cheese on top, but underneath that, you can't really see it in the video, but there was like a, a kind of homemade chili under there. Some of the best nachos I've ever had. They kind of blew our minds. And on top of that, it was huge. The prices here were kind of high, so we thought like, oh man, this is kind of rough, but man, the portions were huge and it was totally worth it. Then we got these little tacos. I can't even remember what was in them. I think it was eggplant and some zucchini and a couple other things, and they were awesome. Not as good as the nachos, but really good. And then probably the best part was this carrot cake. This is a 100% raw carrot cake. I have never had a raw dessert on this level, ever. I really don't know how they pulled it off, but it was better than any carrot cake I've ever had. Jamie and I were both joking about getting another piece, but we were so full. But man, if you guys are in San Diego, you've got to go to Trilogy. And I know it might seem a little bit expensive, some of the items they have, but it's well worth it. And the food was just amazing. After that epic lunch, we headed over to La Jolla Cove and Children's Pool to hang out with some of the sea lions and the seals. So we just got back in the car. It is really cold and really windy out there. I'm sure my hair looks really good right now. <laughs> um, but it's really nice out there. Really beautiful views. Um, definitely check this one out. I think it's called Children's Pool in La Jolla. We're going to go check out La Jolla Cove next. But it just depends on how much time we spend out there. It depends on how uh, cold it is and how windy it is over there. Because it feels like it's about 45 degrees with a really high wind. So it's really cold. I kind of wanted to sit in the car for a while. We might just warm up for a few minutes. Then we'll head over to La Jolla Cove, check that out, and then probably head back downtown and maybe get some food in a little bit. Peace Pies was a really cool place. You know, raw food can be very hit or miss, but I'm always down to try it because I have had some awesome raw food like that carrot cake I showed you guys. So I'm always wanting to try it. This was a raw pizza. I think they used some type of like sprouted crust or something like that to keep it raw. And it had some, I don't know if they were marinated or pickled mushrooms on there and tomatoes and onions and kale chips on top of that and some type of kind of uh, vegan Parmesan cheese. And it was awesome. Like, I'm not even a huge mushroom fan, but it was so, so good. I also got a little chai milkshake, which you can see there, that was legit as hell. Actually, Jamie said it was too strong for her, too much spice, but it was perfect for me. After that, we got a slice of raw cherry pie, and this was really impressive as well. Definitely could not tell that it was raw. They did a great job kind of emulating that cooked pie crust type of texture. It was awesome, really good stuff. And on the way out, we grabbed some of these buffalo kale chips. Jamie likes anything that's buffalo flavored. I like kale chips a lot. This made a perfect snack for the plane, even though I made a huge mess with these things. Then we swung back by Plant Powered Fast Food because Jamie was jonesing for some of these corn dog nuggets. Um, they actually ended up being just kind of okay. They were definitely not great. But she really wanted to try them. It's one of her favorite foods. One of the things she misses a lot being a vegan. If you guys need a recipe for these, she actually made a really good video a while back of corn dog muffins. She also made some corn dog nuggets in the video, but that was a disaster. But the muffins were legit. So that officially brings day 11 to an end. And 
the entire California vlog to an end. So I hope you guys really enjoyed these. Um, Italy's coming up soon, and I'm going to step it up big time with the production values and the drone shots and, and all kinds of other extra things. It's going to be way better. I'm going to try to make the videos even tighter and even higher quality. But I hope you guys did enjoy these. This was such a great, great trip that we had. I had such a good time. I have the absolute perfect travel companion. Jamie is really easy to please, and it just makes for such a good time when we're hanging out. I can't wait to get even more time with her for the Italian trip. That's one of the things about traveling with someone that you really love and you really like, is that you get to have such a good time with them and you get to spend all this time that you don't really get in day-to-day -day life, right? In day-to-day -day life, Jamie and I don't get that much time together. So that's actually probably half the reason I love these trips so much. We get to go to cool places and see cool things and eat great food. But the most important thing for me is that I get to spend so much time with her. So hopefully you guys have someone to travel with, a friend or somebody. It makes a huge difference, and I'm definitely really lucky to travel with her. All right, enough gushing about Jamie. She's great, blah, blah, blah. But uh, I hope you guys did really enjoy the vlog series, and I'll see you guys at the next video. Shut down.